Hi kids! Today we will learn about light or light energy. So let's start. We have different forms of energy available on Earth. Light, sound energy, heat energy, wind energy, and electrical energy, and light energy. So light is also a form of energy. Light can be from a natural source or an artificial source. Now let's see some natural sources of light. Light from sources like the sun, moon, stars, lightning, and fire are the natural sources of light. There are also certain animals and plants that emit light and are natural sources of light. Let's see a few of them. Firefly. Fireflies or lightning bugs. There are many types of varieties of fireflies. They have light emitting organs below their abdomen. They produce light of different colors like yellow, green, or red. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Jellyfish Jellyfish is an aquatic animal that has a transparent body and glows in water because of the presence of fluorescent proteins. Flashy fungus There are a lot of species of mushrooms that are known to glow or are luminescent, that is, they produce light. And there are many more species, like radiant railroad worms, glowing millipedes. Now let's see some artificial sources of light. Light from sources like LED, bulbs, fluorescent tubes, incandescent bulbs, halogen lamps, LED lights, computers, phones, and toys all are artificial sources of light. Now let's learn uses of light or importance of light. All living things need light. Plants need this light energy from the sun to grow and make their food using the process of Photosynthesis. There are many cold-blooded animals like reptiles, amphibians, insects that need light energy to keep their body warm. We need light to see different things and to light up our houses and workplaces. At some places, light energy from the sun or solar energy is converted to electrical energy, and this energy is then used to light up our homes and houses. Our life depends a lot on light as we can't see anything in the dark. In the daytime, natural light, and at the evening or night, we use artificial lights. Energy travels in the form of waves similar to the waves in the sea, but they are 100 million times smaller than the waves in the sea, and light is made up of tiny particles that travels in waves. Light travels at an enormous speed. We call it as 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second, which is approximately 300 million meters per second. Light from the sun takes about 8 minutes and 17 seconds to reach Earth, where the distance between the sun and the Earth is 150 million kilometers. Light rays travel in one direction until they hit an object. 
Light reflects or bounces off the object that comes in its way. The only reason we can see the things around us is the light. From a natural or an artificial source that hits the object and reflects back into our eyes. If you cut off the source of light, you won't be able to see any object. The objects don't cease to exist, but you can no longer see them. It is because no light is there. So human eyes needs light to see things around. So kids, this was our first lesson on light. In our next lesson, we will learn more interesting things about light. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.